Hi, it's yesterday once more. Good songs, great stories. In the early 70s, a young Irishman burst onto the music scene with a unique sound and style that captured the hearts of millions. Born Raymond Edward O'Sullivan in Waterford, Ireland in 1946, Gilbert O'Sullivan spent much of his early life moving around England with his family. With a fairly happy childhood, O'Sullivan fell in love with music as a way to tell stories and bring people together. In 1967, O'Sullivan moved from Swindon to London in pursuit of a career in music. Determined to get a record deal and looking to stand out, he created an eye-catching visual image consisting of a bowl haircut, cloth cap and short trousers. He scored a five-year contract with April Music, CBS Records' house publishing company after coming to the attention of the professional manager, Stephen Shane, who also suggested changing his name from Ray to Gilbert as a play on the name of the operator composers Gilbert and Sullivan. However, he didn't achieve much with CBS. It was only after he signed a contract with MEM Records in the early 70s that things turned around for the young O'Sullivan. At the end of 1970, O'Sullivan achieved his first UK top 10 hit with Nothing Rhymed, which also reached number one in the Netherlands, where it earned O'Sullivan his first gold disc. He found international acclaim in 1972 with Alone Again, Naturally, a song about a young man coming to terms with immense loss after life hits him with a series of painful blows, a breakup with his fiancée and the death of his parents. While it feels like it's coming from this intense life experience, the truth of the matter is that O'Sullivan, only 25 at that time, wasn't left at the altar and his mum was still alive at that point in his life. But he was able to draw on the experiences of people around him to make a piece of art that's sadly beautiful. Alone Again Naturally has been described as one of the most depressing songs ever written. But notwithstanding that, the song went to the top of the charts across the world, peaking at number one in America, Canada and France, and number two in UK and many other countries. O'Sullivan followed up on the success of Alone Again Naturally with Claire, which again topped the charts. O'Sullivan's disc sales exceeded 10 million in 1972 and made him the top star of the year. O'Sullivan's popularity began to wane in the late 70s, but he continued to write and record music throughout the following decades. Today, let's just listen to this much-loved piece, Alone Again, Naturally. I promised myself to treat myself and visit a nearby town And climbing to the top will throw myself up In an effort to make clear to ever what it's like When you're shattered, left standing in the lurch At a church where people are saying My God, that's tough, she stood him up No point in us forward to wouldn't do the role I was about to play but as if to knock me down reality came around and without so much as a mere touch put me into little pieces leaving me to doubt all the 
about God in his mercy well, If he really does exist Why did he desert me In my hour of need I truly am indeed Alone again Naturally It seems to me